Today is a big episode because we're going to be taking on Manchester United in the Carabao Cup. Welcome to episode 5 then of the series. I'd just like to say thank you for the support on the series so far. I'm really pleased that there's loads of you enjoying this because I'm really having a lot of fun with this save. It takes me back to the days when I used to regularly manage championship clubs on FM. It's, it's one of my favourite things to do actually and I've missed it. Because I, I like that challenge of trying to get to the Premier League. It's not easy because when you manage a Premier League club, it doesn't even if you manage a team towards the bottom, it doesn't take long to get them into Europe and challenging for the title. But with the Championship, you have a little bit of time before you can challenge. And you might get promoted in the first season, of course. And it looks like we're going to do that this year if we can carry on how we are performing. In the one game since the last episode, we managed to beat Reading 1-0. Patrick Bamford with another goal. He started to really bang the goals in. I'm pleased that I'm managing to get that striker to score because I was struggling to get that guy to score. But we're creating opportunities and he's starting to take them. The tactic is coming together lovely. Look, the familiarity all the way up here now. And we've got these arrow things that appear uh, where you've got this sort of relationship between players which is really pleasing to see. As you can see here, loads of little arrows or lines. I guess they're not arrows, they're lines, aren't they? I haven't asked you guys any questions yet this series, really, apart from to do with tactics and that sort of thing. I tend to ask a question at the start of each series and I ask you guys, where are you from? Which teams do you support? So let me know, where in the world are you from and which football teams do you support? I'll answer that question for you. I'm from Chelmsford in Essex, although I don't live there anymore. I live down in Hampshire and I support... West Ham. I also follow other teams. I follow Chelmsford City because that's where I'm from and I also quite like Barcelona. You may have seen the Barcelona scarf here. Just a bit of trivia about me. Although I'm Marcelo Bilsa. I don't support, I support Newell's boys or what are they called? Newell's something. Argentinian team. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not me. I'm, I'm Marcelo Bilsa of course, aren't I? Anyway, let's get on with this. Man United, massive, massive rivalry between Leeds and Man United. It's not been quite so prominent in recent years from a Manchester United perspective because Leeds have been down in the Championship and League One since... Were they relegated in 2004? If so, that's a hell of a long time ago. I want to put out my strongest team. I do have a match at the weekend, of course, against Derby, and we have only played a couple of days ago, but... It's Man United. I want to put out my strongest team. Alioski's back from injury and I'm going to play him today instead of Jack Harrison who's had a really good start to the season. But Alioski is better and I want to get him into this system working well. He has a good relationship actually with Douglas. So it's, that's useful. And the rest, it is, it is my first choice team actually. I don't think there's anyone missing at the moment. We've got a full bill of health which is unheard of on Football Manager. I suppose it's unheard of in real life football as well. Man United, favourites for this, of course. I don't know what sort of team they're going to put out against us. Let's have a look to see. Oh, they're first in the... Surprise, surprise, football manager. Manchester United, top of the league. They are so damn overpowered. I mean, I understand that they might they have a chance of winning it, but the number of times on all the saves and all the experiments that I've done in the past year that Man United are top of the table is too many, in my opinion. But there we go. Let's get on with this match then. Still wearing the same t-shirt as the last two episodes because I'm recording it on the same day before anyone spots that. Oh, they've put out a strong team. Lukaku up front, Sanchez, Rashford, Lingo. Oh no. They've put out their first choice team. I thought the League Cup is when these... This is this is kind of unrealistic. The Premier League teams put out weaker teams. Maybe it's because it's the rivalry and the game is thinking, well, because there's this rival, rivalry between Leeds and Man United, it's going to put out a strong team. But... This is when we really see if this system is magical because obviously they're the better team on paper. But if we put up some sort of fight today, then I know this tactic is quite wondrous. Bear in mind, we're predicted to finish eighth this season and we're top of the table. So I think the tactic's pretty good. I think we can guarantee that. But whether it's good enough to be a, a team top of the Premier League, first in the Championship versus first in the Premier League, it's nice to see. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to do this. For the fans, that's worked. I'm going to say to Bamford, I have faith he can make the difference. But what do we do about these players, though? I mean, they're amazing on the game. They don't quite click in real life, do they? Well, they haven't this so far this season. There's the young Portuguese right back. Is it Dalo or Dalot? Diogo? 
only 18 years old because obviously this is the 2017-18 season. Wow. Wish me luck, guys. Gonna try and make Leeds proud, you Leeds fans. I know there's plenty of Leeds fans watching, so that's probably gonna be the most common comment in the comment section below. We're unbeaten this season. This is it's likely to end today, guys. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it my best shot, I promise you. Here comes Rashford early on. Peacock Farrell makes the save. Put out weaker teams in the Carabao Cup so far, but I can't be doing that today, can I? At the moment, nil nil after well, 15 minutes. This is going well. Let's shout some encouragement to the players because we're playing. We've got it on control, remember. I'm pretty attacking risky football against this mighty Manchester United team. Lingard's gone off injured. They brought it on Fellaini, so they're going to lump it to him now, aren't they? Oh, Sanchez has picked up an injury. We're, we're beating them up. Bremner style. And all, all of the, the guys from the, the 60s and 70s, that Leeds team. Bit brutal, let's be honest. But it worked for them. Half time. Nil nil. 59% possession against Man United. We've had double the number of shots. We've seen literally no highlights, but this is encouraging. Really, really impressive, actually. I'm going to go for that. Oh, don't switch off, lads. Oh, why have players switched off? That's not good. There we go. We've, we've switched Saez back on, looking extremely delighted. Um, the the defence, though, Johnson and Cooper at the back have switched off. That is not good news. We're going to see a mistake from them now, aren't we? I thought it'd be good to just sort of say something nice. You know, dig in. We've played well, but let's go and do it. And instead they switch off. Get complacent, maybe. against Man You can't get complacent against Man United, lads. You know what this match means to the fans. Representing Leeds, representing Yorkshire. That's what we're doing today. But we're 60 minutes in. It's still nil-nil. This is the first highlight we've seen apart from the kickoffs. Pretty ridiculous. Half an hour to go. Here come Man United, though. Maybe they're going to turn off. Great tackle, Calvin Phillips. But Johnson doesn't get there. And Fellaini... What the hell? Fellaini with a burst of pace. And he's finished like a... Well, like a striker. 1-0 to Man United. That is, that is not a Fellaini goal, though, is it? Come on. I mean, it's a great tackle from Calvin Phillips. I hate it when this happens. Though, but then Johnson's just not switched on. And he just... Uh, but the, Fellaini, Fellaini doesn't even look like Fellaini there. That was... Irritating. First highlight of the game, Man United score. Calvin Phillips picks up a yellow, Saiz picks up a yellow. We're going to go attacking. And I'm going to go for the mixed passing. It's a shame we haven't actually created any chances. Pablo Hernandez on a 6.3. He's not playing particularly... We're going to bring on Dallas, actually. Dallas is a game changer, as we found out. And we're going to put him onto an attacking winger. winger. And Alioski is going to go to an attacking winger as well. We're going to pray that we can actually create something. Come on, lads. 20 minutes. Oh. They're, they're, they're playing the Mourinho way. They're, they're obviously just defending and not allowing us anything because we've just not seen anything from us. I'm going to have to get these guys to attack as well, I think. Complete wing-back attack. Douglas, complete wing-back attack. We're going to really just push hard now. Push forward. Here we go. Highlight Douglas into the box. Oh! Oh! Oh, that was a chance. It's in from Cooper. We've equalised against Manchester United. 1-1. One, one. And I'm going to... I'm not going to keep... We're going to send these guys back to support. We'll keep the wingers as attack. I'm going to go back to control. And I'm probably going to make a sub. Calvin Phillips is on a yellow. He's played well. But I'm going to bring on Adam Forshaw there. To, to shore up the, the, the midfield and defence. Because we can't have that position on a yellow. Late on in this game. Liam Cooper scored another goal. He's a goal machine. Great corner from Douglas. It causes carnage. Alioski heads it down. Second attempt. Cooper smashes it home. Fellaini's... We're, we're injuring their players. This is brilliant, isn't it? Wait, are they down Are they down to 10 men? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They're down to 10 men, guys. I think. I'm pretty sure they are. We've injured three of their players. <laughs> we're brutal. Dallas into the box. Da, De Gea is safe. Now, there's a minute and a half of injury time. It's going to extra time as it stands against Man United. But even a Man United with 10 men should beat us on paper, considering how good they are on this game. And they've sent... Oh, no. What a save, Peacock Farrell. Great save, tipping it around the post. And But it's a corner. Late on, 30 seconds to go. They'll have men up. Ashley Young with the corner. 
Oh, free kick to us. <sighs> Thought it was a penalty then. Well, it's going to extra time, but we can push on from here. We're going to go back to attacking for that sec for the for the extra time period. I'm going to make. Are they allowed to make a sub now? Because it's extra time. I think they can make four subs, can't they? So maybe they're not down to ten men anymore. Passionate. Do it for the fans. That's motivated them for this extra time period. Let's see if we're able to make two. I mean, size is dead. I'm going to have to bring him off for Lewis Baker. And just thinking about penalties. What's Bamford got? He's got 13. Roof's got seven. I'm not going to bring him on. Jack Harrison, 10. Alioski's got 14. What's Berardi? Two. Maybe I won't make a four. I just want to see if I'm able to make a four sub. I am. So Man United can now make that fourth substitute. So it's back to 10... 11 versus 11, sorry. That's a little bit of a blow. But that's the rules now. Pogba with the free kick. Ah, Paul Pogba. Well, we are going to go back to attacking then. So they've scored from Fellaini, who scored a very un esque goal. And then a free kick from Pogba. I'm still proud of these guys. They've done really, really well. And there's still a chance. There's still a chance we can get back into this. There's time. We can go overload for the second half of extra time. We've had more shots. We've had slightly more possession. Oh, we've got to be proud of these guys for this. We were not expected to win this. Top of the table, Man United, remember. Rashford crosses in, looking... Oh, good save, Peacock Farrell tips it over the bar. They've got a corner. They have created the clear-cut chances, though, to be fair to them. They've created three. Gribbin. Ah, oh, he's a good uh, set-piece taker. Dallas after it. Can we counter here? Stuart Dallas, come on. Down the left. He's got legs. He's one of the subs. He's still going. He's still going. Dallas. Click. Click. Oh, that was a bit of an anti-climax, wasn't it? There's still three, two minutes left in this first half of extra time. They're playing it out from the back. That's how we play. And they're playing it quite well out from the back. Gribbin into Rashford. Get in their faces, lads. Come on. I know you don't have much energy left, but just come on, lads. Please. Here's Pogba. Cooper. If we do lose, I can say, well, now we can concentrate on the league. That old cliche. Here's Pogba into... To, oh, Gribbin. That's, <laughs> what, was that? what a brilliant shot, Gribbin. Pogba's on 48%, but then Click's on 55, 56% for us. So, yeah. <sighs> It's been a bit of a war today, hasn't it? We've completely murdered their players. I might have to bring Click off. What's he got on penalties? 14. Oh, I can't take him off. But I might have to. I might have to risk it. I just don't have any players that are good at penalties to come off the bench. Hmm. Fresh legs. I kind of feel like I need to bring on fresh... I'm going to move... I'm going to do it. We're going to move Alioski into the Mazzala role, which is, I know, a bit odd. But I feel like... It could work. I've got, to, I've got to put faith in myself, haven't I? We've gone mix. I'm going to go overload and take more risks. we got to. 15 minutes to get back into this game and send it to penalties. I can't really think about penalties until we actually equalise. So I might as well make the sub and bring on the fresh pair of legs. It's not happening, guys. I'm going to have to go direct, which I probably isn't very Bill esque But considering Mourinho is probably playing you know, park the bus football. We've got to do something a little bit different. Bill Sir will approve, I'm sure. Here's Baker. Back to Bamford. Ah, oh, we've done it. We've done it. We've equalised against Man United. And I'm tempted to leave it on overload because I hate penalties. I really do. And I bet Man United will win on penalties. Let's keep going and try and get a third. We've scored from another sort of set piece. It's from a throw in this time. Great finish from Bamford through the, the legs of those defenders. It's 2-2. Two -two. We've done it. We might be sending it to penalties. Or alternatively, we might be able to get a winner. Bamford, back to Ailing. Down the line for Dallas. Dallas! How? Oh! So close. So close from the substitute. Oh, it's gone to penalties, but... Oh, he almost won it at the death. Baker's got 17 on penalties. He has to go first. Alioski. Bamford. For sure. Douglas could take the crucial penalty. Maybe Stuart Dallas, Jack Carrot. Okay, hopefully it won't go past that. Or maybe it will have to. Maybe we'll have to hope for that if uh, Man United is taking good penalties. Come on, Lewis Baker. You're my best chance of a goal. Lewis Baker! Goal! Knocks it past the Gaia. We're, we're winning. 1-0. They haven't taken their penalty, but we can say we're winning. 
Gin Ginyach. Is that how his name's pronounced? I don't know. Up he steps. <sighs> he got foul. Bit of a late dive there, my friend. Why is Pogba taking a penalty? Where's my penalty? What? What? It's safe, but I'm confused. I I'm... I'm... Wh what? Alioski scores. I'm, I'm, abs I'm just, what? Why did Pog, oh, it's a, oh, it's ABBA penalties, isn't it? It's ABBA penalties in the Carabao Cup last year. Benford scores. ABBA, oh, oh I get it. I get it. But in real life, the ABBA penalties has been replaced by the old traditional penalty shootout. It's all, it all makes sense now. Oh, whoa, Peacock Farrell catches a penalty. We're three, one up. We're going through, lads. We're going through. Come on, save another one. Stop this penalty from Rashford. I find this penalty shootout confusing, but it's all, it's all, I all learn, I understand now. I understand what's going on. ABBA penalties. Rashford steps up and it's scored. Okay, but if we score this, then I think we're through. Although I'm a bit confused because obviously the system's different. So perhaps if we score this, we're not through. For sure against David De Gea. Come on, send us through, Adam. Send us through. Please, please. Please, for sure, come on, come on. Yes, we've beaten Man United. Oh my, this is truly unbelievable. I need to save the game before it crashes. Passionate, it's gonna crash. Don't crash, please, please don't crash. Save if it crashes. Ah, it didn't crash. We've beaten Manchester United on penalties, but it's the performance that was incredible really i know we got our goals from set pieces but you know one of their goals was from a direct free kick this is astonishing we beat an incredibly powerful first choice man united team who are overpowered on football manager remember the only problem now is pressure's on you're going to expect me to get promoted and then win the league next year i can't quite believe that we're going to completely knack a players for the derby game i'm going to have to make some changes i think but still <sighs> How have we done that? How have we done that? Mourinho offers thoughts on physical play. Well, you're just, you park the bus. You're boring. Shut up. Thank you for watching today's incredible episode. Remember to, to let me know where you're from and the team that you support. And maybe you want to add a little bit of a celebration to your comment in the comment section below. Remember to hit that like button. That would be very much appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, enjoy FM18. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you very soon.